What's up you guys, Coach Danny. I am here to break down the basic pigeon stretch. Many people have done this, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it right. All right, so that target side leg is forward, bent knee. And what you're trying to go for here is you're trying to get that full leg, the target side leg on the ground. That's the idea, all right? So a lot of times I see people doing this and they're just kind of like hanging out here. Yeah, that's fine. You're probably stretching out the quads and whatnot, but you're missing out on all that nice um, glute and those uh, smaller ro uh, muscles in the hip socket right here. So what you're really focused on doing is keeping those hands flat, full leg flush on the ground, and then slowly sinking your torso forward. One thing that helps me soften into this pose is taking big diaphragm belly breaths in, holding it, exhaling, and then sinking deeper into the pose. I do that three times. Let me demonstrate. Big belly breath in. Exhale. Stop. Belly breath in. Exhale. Stop. Belly breath in. Exhale. And then once I get here, that's, when, that's my end range of motion for that day. All right? And then you're just hanging out here. You can go nice and wide, you can relax, totally up to you. But the whole goal here is to make sure that that front leg, that target side leg, is flush on the ground, the outside of the leg. Try to avoid lifting that leg off the ground. I would recommend doing this post-workout, maximizing that end ranges of motion, making sure that your body is nice and warm and loose, and two minutes on each side post-workout. Give it a shot, guys. Let me know what you think. Remember to subscribe to this channel like it, share it with a friend, and I'll see you next time.